All right, what is going on guys? Today we have a pretty cool video and I'm actually really excited to film this for you guys. First up, we're gonna head to the gym, gonna do a little voiceover for a pool day, show you guys kind of the cues and that I like, kind of go through mentally when I'm executing different exercises, just to like help educate and inspire you guys to go out and try new things um, and grow that way. Yeah, we're gonna go through a pool day, um, show you kind of what I'm doing currently um, and then today, as always, you're doing a lift and a hunt. So we're going to get in the woods today. Um, me and a buddy of mine are going to go out to some local state game lands that we've been hunting up around school. And yeah, I'm going to take you guys through a typical white tail archery hunt. So super excited. Let's go hit the gym and then we'll see you guys later for the hunt. So first up, you guys can see here, starting with lap pull downs. Um, today's rep and set protocol was two to three warm up sets for this, working up to a top set and then backing off with a rest pause set. So right here in this clip, you guys can see this is my rest pause, my rest pause set. So what that basically is, is working up to almost failure stopping mid set for five to 10 seconds and then continuing again, just to really push volume past what I would have got without the rest pause. Um, and it's just a great high intensity technique that I utilize a lot just to facilitate more growth. Um, so you guys will see here, I'm resting right here, but the cable was pretty high and it was putting a lot of tension on my forearms. So I stood up still resting five to 10 seconds, sitting back down, and then completing a few more reps. Um, so yeah, after this, you guys are gonna see me go into a Smith Machine row right here. And it, my program called for some bent over barbell rows. I wanted to mix it up just cause I feel a better contraction on the Smith Machine. Um, for me, I can focus on a better eccentric part and really driving my elbows and the bar right up into my hip basically right to, towards my belly button, really squeezing and getting a lot of blood into the area. Um, the rep and set protocol for that was pretty much the same as the lat pull downs without a rest pause set. Up next right here, you guys can see the T-bar row. This is pretty straightforward. Um, you can see I'm really stretching, squeezing. This is my top set with two plates and then we just did a back off set with that. Here we're doing low cable row. One of my favorite exercises just because you can really see me lean forward, really uh, elongating the muscle, squeezing at the top. For this, we did five total sets. So I did two or three warm up sets and then a top set back off and then a drop set. So right here, you guys can see we moved on to some rack pulls. This wasn't my top set. I just forgot to record that set, but these were like three pretty straightforward sets with a back off set. Up, here, up next, we're doing some dumbbell reverse flies, one or two warm-up sets. Um, we worked up to a top set and then a drop set. Rep ranges is like 12 to 15 for that. And then finishing off with some dumbbell shrugs. I've been slacking on shrugs and my traps for a while, so we're not neglecting them anymore, hitting those now within this program. And I do hit calves. Um, just a simple seated calf raise here, warm up set, top set, and then I'll basically do two back off sets with lighter weight and then a drop set after those two. So decent amount of volume, but just one exercise. And then finishing up with cardio. But that is basically the breakdown of my workout for today. Now for the second part of today's video, white tail archery hunt. So, I was going to film this with one buddy back at school, but I ended up, he wasn't able to uh, head out with me that day. So I ended up going out by myself and uh, shooting one, but never found it. So that's a story for another time, but we're back in the hometown for today's hunt. Um, so we are hunting some local farms. It's pretty pretty nippy out today, so I really don't think my camera's gonna last that long. Um, I'm gonna try and film as much as I can, and yeah, I'm not gonna be on the camera too, too much, just because we are hunting, so, you know, 
we got to limit the the noise and really be paying attention especially because of the rut so i mean deer are moving all times of the day especially buck right now chasing doe and stuff so um yeah we are parking right now trying not to get stuck in the mud with the old toyota so all right so we just parked we're gonna head over and um we'll see what happens for tonight <laughs> these two ears sticking out of the grass and it's a deer it's bedded down I mean 50 60 yards from me and it's not moving I can't tell what it's doing it's just bedding there but it's a doe so what I think I'm gonna do is walk back I'm gonna I'm gonna sit in the cornfield We gotta get to our spot. Catch up with you soon. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but I'm sitting in the cornfield across from this doe. And uh, it's about 3.15 right now, so we got about two more hours of good daylight. And this doe is bedded down in this hay field, most likely because it just rained, so she doesn't want to sit in that wet cornfield in the mud, so she's out in this hayfield right now, but luckily it's really windy, so she didn't hear me sneak in. Um, but there's pros and cons to the wind. I also am losing my hearing due to the wind, so I mean, hopefully we'll see some action tonight, and uh, a buck chases that doe around this corn, this hayfield right in front of me, but I'm gonna sit for a little while now, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys later tonight, so. So we're back at school now. I didn't really wrap up the end of the hunt just because A, it was freezing. My hands were freezing. Um, but we just, I just ended up seeing a bunch of small doe. And yeah, obviously passed those up because right now we're out for the big buck. Um, yeah, it's been a tough year of hunting. So uh, gonna try and film some more lifestyle videos, not just fitness, cause just fitness content does kinda get really repetitive. But I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a white tail archery hunt. Um, so yeah, gonna wrap up the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the lift and a little bit of a hunt. More to come, keeping the series rolling, road to 200, and possibly gonna be discussing some plans for competing in 2022 so once again guys thank you for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next one